Edward Wood is the trunk of the tree. We now need to go for the roots because I said last night I felt complicit. They've declared their hand. While they were peacefully sat at the club, not making a statement, never showing their hands, never doing media conferences. Yeah, they were taking money out of the club. Yes, they've leveraged against the club. There's nothing that we could do about that once the club became a PLC. But they, I said last night, they attacked every single football fan in this country with what they did. And Jamie's just talked about FSG having no place in Liverpool. The Glazers have no place in Manchester anymore. And we have to work hard together to ensure that ownership rules in this country are changed, that we have a system whereby this cannot happen, whether that is good government intervention, independent regulator, whether it be a fan-owned club rule, whatever it is, we have to make sure that this is the catalyst for change. And the people have spoken. We were on the brink of anarchy if this continued. The Chelsea fans that have turned up tonight, the Leeds and Liverpool fans who turned up last night, the social media presence, and these six sets of owners in this country, and obviously the other ones in Europe, have misread this situation badly. What a 24 hours it's been for Manchester United fans. Ed Woodward is gone. The witch is dead. Manchester United have pulled out of the European Super League after intense pressure from fans, from you, from everybody, that showed the club who really has the power. But as good as it is that Woodward is gone and as great as it is that we're not in the European Super League, the roots of the evil at Manchester United still exist. And we have to make sure that we use this momentum to push and force the Glazers out of Manchester United and to get our football club back. And that is what this message is. And you saw the intro there from Gary Neville, who really has been leading in the last few days. You can complain about the fact that he hasn't really publicly spoken about the Glazers over the years, and I, I will do the same. But in the last 72 hours, Gary Neville's done a lot of good. And he's helped push this cause. And I, with this video, I hope to help push the cause against the Glazers because that's where our energy needs to go now. Our energy can't stop because nobody really would have expected that we could change the big six but we did and fan power is a real thing the Chelsea protests outside the ground they made a difference to what Chelsea did with their involvement in the European Super League and Manchester United fans we have to do the same with the Glazers you know how I've felt about the Glazers for a long long time I I wasn't involved in a protest back in 2004 but I want to be involved in these ones. At the moment, I've currently got one leg. So I can't go to the protests that are scheduled to happen on Saturday. But I'm encouraging everyone to do so. I know plenty of guys who are going to those protests. 3pm on Saturday at the Trinity Statue. I think United will try and stop that from happening. And I don't think United will be very happy with me for announcing it in this video. But I want as many people to go there as possible, peacefully to protest against the Glazer ownership because they really have been the leeches. They are the leeches that have sucked the life out of Manchester United. Bear in mind, and this is something that I've repeated to so many fans of other clubs who say, oh, look how much you're spending on players. The Glazers have never, ever put a single pound of their own money into Manchester United as an investment. Remember that. Over a billion pounds has left the club since they took over in 2005 on servicing that interest on the loan that they bought United with. We have paid for their ownership. They haven't paid anything into the club. So don't point out to me that United have signed Di Maria, that we've signed all these really expensive players, Pop, blah, blah. that's the club's money that we're spending, not their own. Any money from the club has left for them for dividends. They are the only owners in the country to take dividends out of the club. They leech, they suck the life out of United. They don't do anything positive for the club. And I did not think that we would ever get rid of Ed Woodward. And you saw, <laughs> you saw how happy I was in my live video yesterday, which I want to do more of, by the way, so I definitely will. And I really, really want any noise about the Glazers and getting rid of the Glazers to get as much coverage as possible. 
in the next week or so. So make sure you send everything across to me at United Peoples TV, at Sam Peoples underscore on Twitter. I'll try and share everything. I want to try and make a bit of a mini documentary about the protests if they really go ahead on Saturday, as I hope they will. But this video really has to be a message to everybody. Not a, a call to arms on social media, I suppose. A, a, a call to peaceful arms. Because we have to mobilize. This feels, this moment here feels like the, the catalyst moment that we've all been waiting for when it comes to the Glazers and it comes to Woodward. It's got rid of Woodward. And I don't really care about what all these statements say that Woodward was leaving at the end of the season anyway. This is just a coincidence. That's saving face. Ed Woodward, this has blown up in your face spectacularly. And it's beautiful to watch. And I now want this to blow up in the face of the Glazers. And it might not just be me. It might not just be us. It might not just be the fans that do this. Because those six owners have made themselves national hate figures. The government is going to be looking into this. And hopefully looking into the 50 plus one rule, which I'm going to do a video on. Because if that can be the ownership of Manchester United, we really are heading into a new, beautiful era of football. And our football club. Because we would have it back. But because they're national hate figures. The energy is there now. For us all to get rid of them. For Liverpool to get rid of FSG. For Arsenal to get rid of Stan Kroenke. For, well Chelsea bloody love Roman Abramovich don't they. So that's a bit different. And I don't really care about City or Chelsea. But neither of them actually. But United have the opportunity now. As well, we as fans have have the opportunity to really pile the pressure onto the Glazers because there, there's already a, a lit fire right there. We've just got to put fuel on it. Not, I'm talking metaphorically here, people, before we all start getting violent and all that crap. Don't point me. I'm not the one leading that. I'm not Donald Trump in this. But I can I can see that there is momentum behind this movement. Now that hasn't been there before. Hasn't really been there ever. Not to this scale. And I feel that in the day and age of social media, you can, you can get a lot of people to do a lot of things. And if you can do a lot, of, get a lot of people to unite behind this and it leads to the Glazers leaving Manchester United, selling Manchester United, that will be the single most significant day in the modern history of our club. And yesterday was one of them. Ed Woodward resigning. Man United fans, football fans in general, forcing the big six clubs to turn their decision around. That was a huge moment. And that moment there shows that fan movement, that fan protesting can and does make a difference. The evidence was there yesterday. So that's what I mean when I say the momentum is there because we've got evidence right there that if there's enough of you, and you're loud enough, and you make enough noise, you will be heard. And difference can be caused by your actions. And that's why I say this one's different. And we've got people like Gary Neville who really are, as I said, Gary over the years has left a lot to be desired in terms of not saying much about the Glazers when he had the opportunity to. But he's done so much in these last 72 hours to really stand up and be the voice of fans, all football fans, United fans as well. And he's now gone on record there calling the Glazers leeches. On Sky Sports, when he was pulled on last night, after uh, Brighton's uh, draw with uh, Chelsea, he didn't call the Glazers the Glazers first. He called them the leeches. It was the first term he had towards them. The antithesis is there. And if it's coming from people like Gary Neville, who are can make such a difference, we can use that momentum to build the movement behind it. We've all, we all opposed the ownership of the Glazers when they came in 2004. We opposed, we have opposed their ownership since, but there hasn't been anything that we could truly, truly have done. But there is such huge momentum behind this current wave. So much momentum so that our executive vice chairman has resigned. So much so that all six Premier League clubs have backed out of their plans for the European Super League. And I didn't really genuinely, 48 hours ago, I would never have believed that either of those was possible. But both have been proved possible. 
And this now has to be the next step. The energy has to continue. And I will continue to fight this fight. I, I can't go to the protest physically myself, but I hope that we can give it as much coverage as possible. You, As I said, send me anything that you have from the protest if you want me to cover it. But from where we were on Sunday and woke, woken up on Monday morning that I genuinely thought my football club was dead. I really did. To maybe 72 hours, having no Woodward out of the Super League and there had been intense pressure on the Glazers to sell Manchester United. And maybe they won't even get a choice about being sold because the government, Keir Starmer's calling for forced ownership of clubs purchased by the government. The government's talking about fit. There are many different routes that can be that we can go down here, but the one we can do as fans is make our voices heard. So I encourage all of you to go there to that protest on Saturday. Bring your green and gold scarves, bring your cameras, give it as much coverage as possible everywhere, online, offline, I don't care. This is the time when the movement really has momentum. The Glazers need to be got rid of. They need to be driven out of Manchester. They are evil in terms of what we need for our football club. Difference has been made in the last 48, 72 hours. Let's make more difference in the next 48, 72 hours. You know what to do. Glazers out on Twitter. If you can go to it on Saturday, go to that. But this is a message to the Glazers. We're not stopping at Woodward. We're not stopping at the European Super League. We're coming for you next.